What's up, man? It's your boy Young Lean Jr. here. Now, Delonte West, he was seen on Washington, D.C. highway um, being plummeted down by a young man uh, that had on a leather jacket. Now, it appears to be that he took from him, so he was provoking this young man, and he took a bottle and just hit him. And that's a very sign of disrespect. It's an assault. And he was just dragged down on the middle of the highway, like cars passing, like people was like, what, what is this doing? So of course they called the police and of course there's surveillance cameras everywhere. And the police showed up. I don't know if they arrested the man they, when they did an initial interview, see what was going on. They separated two and they detained Mr. Uh, Delonte West. Now both parties didn't want to press charges because that would have been an assault on this record. But I believe that he may be transported to maybe a psychiatric hospital. And back in 2008, he did say he had he was suffering from bipolar disorder. I um, mean, he had an uncontrollable nature of his emotions. And this is really sad because, you know, I remember watching Delonte West playing basketball when I was young and, you know, very successful with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And he was drafted originally with the Boston Celtics. If I'm not wrong, but he was he was drafted to Boston Celtics and he had an amazing talent, man. I mean, with the first round pick because he did really good on the St. Joe's All Star team. That's when they went 27 and 0. And Delonte West was a good, he was a good, great role player. I believe he's a little bit better than J.R. Smith as um, far as that basketball IQ. <laughs> I didn't even get into that, but you know, Delonte West is. He was very good on the uh, on the basketball court, man. I mean, he was talented to make something out of himself, I and mean, he was a very game changer too. He can hit threes, and he was one. He was like a smush Parker to me, uh, like in the Los Angeles Lakers. One of those people that are very good, but people don't give too much credit to. He was like sort of underrated, but he can give you points, like maybe 14, 15 points that you need to come off the bench. And this is um, pretty much what Delonte West's career was, and really great player, man. And you know, this fact that it just amazes me. You know, the things that he went through, and he's going going through maybe currently right now after his NBA season and you know I don't know if he's it could be boring it could be anything that triggers into this mental uh, illness his mother could have been abused he could you know have no type of father figure trying to figure out how he's going to live financially could be financially crippled we don't know and the fact that this you know this is very dangerous because you know he could have got killed the average person you know if they wasn't in their right state of mind, very calmly minded spirit, they would have killed them. They would have shot them. They would have, you know, tried his body up. And then on top of that, too, if you have mental illness, you lose a lot of cognitive functions. You know, you're not in your right state of mind. And this is when Satan comes in and try to destroy your mindset. And then once he gets into your mind, he can pretty much tell you to go any direction that he wants. And that is very a serious issue spiritually. So praying for Delonte West, man, that he gets some help. Um, that's the only thing we can do. Jameer Nelson, who was a former teammate of Delonte West, appeared to him. I mean, he's he started posting his remarks on Twitter, talking about the whole incident. The only thing we can do is pray for him and just hope his family the best, man. If they can give him some type of resources, and NBA can. I don't know how he, if he saved his money or anything, if he's homeless or whatever. That he maybe I don't know about don't put him in the asylum because I think that's even wrong on top of that too because they put him in the asylum I mean they're gonna do is just put him on drugs and he's gonna be really completely messed up because you know how that system is they make so much money around patients you know patients that's just simply just there I mean it's just temporary treatment. And we know how drugs are really destroyed a lot of nutrients and deteriorate your bodies over time. It's just like a temporary fix. It's not that don't really go into the root of the problem. So he needs a very a spiritual divine intervention. And the best way to do that is to advise him to, you know, of course, seek help with a family member or a chaplain, a minister. is someone that's out there available, but he has to have the mindset to do that. If someone, you know, his friends or people that he... Matt in the, in the NBA, I believe they should take some time out their day to help him out. I mean, do everything you can, but you, then you got some people like, well, you know, he could be very combative. He don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to put myself in that situation. I got to continuously to move on with my life. But so I figure out like the sacrifice that Jesus did too with us and went out healing people with a paralytic man and individual, you know, he was just waiting for people to come to him and put him in a pool. And he said, hey, you know, do you want to get better? Do you want to get well? It's like, yes, you rise, rise up and, you know, take, take up his mat and walk. And this type of certain things that we have to do, you know, especially as Christians, man, I mean, it's tough. It's a very tough job, but at least get some assistance because I hate for a young man like him was 36 years of age. So much talent. And God gave him that gift of basketball to use that to help and benefit the community, not only just on the court, but for other people. And, you know, just seeing that Delonte West, man, just getting beaten. I was like, wow, man, you know, just starting fights. 
it's a it's a really crazy thing, you know. But um, very spiritually, I uh, know spiritually conflict that's probably what's really going on. And um, you look at the pictures from before and after, you know, when he joined it. A NBA and then after it's just like man wow like you don't know if he's like in shape or anything if he was taking any hardcore drugs but best solution say um, some minister or some type of chaplain can go ahead and help this individual out and probably drive the demonic spirit that's that's it's enticing them you know and uh, because it, it can be done but man it was very disturbing man just reading this and just they interviewed him and he was just saying like I'm this I'm effing this and effing that I'm like bro like it is super crazy, man. But you know, you don't never know what these athletes or people in general go through um, behind the scenes. So the best way we can do is provide them the best help um, spiritually, and that's just none of the one of the works of the gospel. But uh, I just want to go in here and report this, man. Um, continue to do some more updates and other people that's suffering from mental illness, like a lot of young black men that's that's going through this on a day to day basis. Like I told you, I just reported the news that you know, gentlemen. He was like 17 years old, had a football scholarship, but he threw it out the back of his mind and decided to run across or, you know, to walk in front of a train. I mean, it's people out there that's just right now that want to kill themselves. If you're watching this video, don't do it. Just keep moving, keep pressing on. Have the spirit of God. Remember, he says, cast all my anxieties unto me and I should care for you. I should not die but live according to the works of the Lord. And that, you know, I'm still studying and reading, educating myself on scriptures, but it, this stuff is real, man. And Satan wants to make a mockery of God's people and his image. And that's that's his whole thing. And he will use any little thing that, sh that hurdles that you're trying to overcome in, in this world to, to deter you and to show you. And that's all it is, man. But you, you can't give in to that. I mean, I'm not saying just basically just... uh. <sighs> I don't know, man. I mean, at the end of the day, just you just gotta continue to just keep pushing on, man. We all going through this, but you know, just taking your life, it's not it's not a good way to do it. And and you know, getting into drugs and putting yourself in self harm ways because you feel like you know you're worthless in this world. It's not a good way as well, you know. But because um, think of all the people that you're gonna affect, you know. But this your boy only Jr. I just want to go ahead and close in on this. I just really fell hard to me. And uh, I pray for Delonte West and his family that he seek some help. But yeah, this your boy only Jr. Please subscribe to the channel. Donate to the channel if you can. Uh, the cash app is going to be in the link in the description box. Let's uh, comment, please. You know, let's have a discussion. Share this video. I'm out. Deuces.